Yo, today we have a very important announcement. We're getting nerfed again. <laughs> Fucking GG. Today we are going to be discussing the patch 8.3 class changes. I don't know when exactly they're going to be dropping. To be honest, they kind of look like class changes that have already been in the game. So I don't even know if this is like all news or fake news or whatever. Because I'm pretty fucking sure a couple of patches ago, Shadow Head Pain and Vampiric Touch got nerfed by a solid percentage like eight percent or some shit or six percent or something it's getting nerfed by eight percent okay eight percent blizzard just keep coming at us with these fucking nerfs man like through the window through the wow i'd like to say it's fine but we all know everybody's gonna be crying on the inside like you know how it is get nerfed Go to the bathroom, grab a knife slash razor and just have at it. As if it isn't bad enough being 408 item level, losing to all these fucking plebs that are actually trash at the game, but do insane amounts of damage to me. Like, imagine getting critted by a rogue for 70k and just standing there being like, yo, what's up? I ain't doing shit. Can't do shit, won't do shit. That's literally my life right now. Fuck you and your greater pyroblast. No greater pyroblast for you. Anybody want to kick me? You can kick me. I'm open to kicks. Kicks are good. Kicks are life. Paid your greater. Very nice. I was going to talk about all the class changes, but like now that I've gone into the video, I'm just going to talk about a few of them. Like, you know, ones that matter or ones that people care about. Oh, that's bad news bears up there. That's something you don't want to be in when you've got a bad Team. My team actually just got stomped. Auspicious Spirits is also getting nerfed. I'm pretty sure this also has been nerfed before. By before, I mean like in this expansion, in this like recent patch. I'm pretty sure it got nerfed somewhere along the lines. Damage bonus reduced to 25%, was 50%. Fucking ripping Pepperino, I guess. Just just keep coming with these nerfs. Can I blame Halinka? Can anyone let me know if I can blame Halinka? I, I don't even know if he's the lead PvP anymore. If he is, good job. Really fucking appreciate it. I'm not gonna lie, this BG's trash, so I'm just gonna leave and we're gonna go do some duels. Chorus of Insanity, critical strike bonus reduced by 25%. Like, they're literally just trying to do everything to fuck like just just fuck us like why like chorus of insanity was sick i want to say i can't believe they're doing this to us but honestly i fucking 100 percent believe it like there's probably more nerfs on the way they've probably got like another solid four percent coming i'm calling it right now and then you've got windwalker monks that literally do not die and do like a million fucking damage in duels at least that are getting the rising sun kick damage increased by 25 percent 20 fucking five percent now i'm not too sure like how good windwalkers are but i dueled one the other day and they did not seem to be lacking in the damage department. And then on top of that, they're going to go ahead and increase Blackout's damage by 10%. Developer note, these changes are intended to help Windwalkers perform better in single target fights. Very nice. Very, very nice. I love how there's no developer notes under Vampiric Touch and Shadow Head Paint nerf. Hmm. All right, we've got Windwalker Monk here. He's... 439 item level. I'd say that's pretty decent. Let's check this Windwalker damage. Seems pretty strong to me. Seems pretty strong. Nice changes, Blizzard. Nice changes. Frost Mage is getting a buff, which I like because I actually like Frost Mages. And it seems like they really got neglected in this expansion with Fire being super, super strong, which is pretty sad, not gonna lie, because Frost Mage was like the thing that everyone played. So Ice Lancer's damage is getting increased by 20%. Developer note. Iceland's damage hasn't kept up with the ice skill scaling, making builds that ignore Iceland's possible. The intent of this change to get is to give Frost Mages a better incentive to use Ice Lance within their rotation as a DPS net gain. Okay, I like this, but I also think that they should increase Frostbolt's damage because when a mage stands there casting Frostbolts, it is like it just feels useless for the mage. Like, it really does feel useless. It does zero damage. It's got, like, a long-ass cast for the damage it does. Like, for the damage it does, it's just, like, it feels fucking useless. I feel like they should increase the damage. And if, you know, they sh they, they need to increase... They need to do something with it. It does, like, fuck all damage. It just does slow. And the cast time might be quick. I'm not too sure what it is nowadays. It might be, like, a 1.2, 1.3. If it's not, then fuck me. Then it's just terrible. In my opinion, obviously. Balance Druid. Interesting. Moonfire damage 
and periodic damage reduced by 10%. Same with Sunfire, reduced by 10%. Mm, I'm not too sure what to think about that because Moonfire and Sunfire is kind of different to Vampiric Touch and Shadow of Pain. They do work in the same way as in like, you know, you spread your dots and everything, but like the damage from Moonfire and Sunfire and the way the classes are set up and everything is totally different. Balanced Druids do like mad amounts of burst. They do mad procs. So their dots shouldn't really be doing as much as a Shadow Priest dots because we don't hit as hard as them. We don't get mad fucking procs that just like demolish someone's HP so the dots should be different between a Shadow Priest and a Boomy. I do feel like Moonfire and Sunfire shouldn't be doing insane amounts considering the amount of burst they have. If they want the dots to do insane amounts of damage they should really nerf their instant cast damage because if you guys have seen when the when the stars align and they've got everything up someone's getting fucking dropped they can do mad damage high noon trait damage increased by 11 percent not 100 percent sure on the traits of boomy so i'm just gonna skip these two but yeah that's all the patch notes for now that i actually care to talk about there is a few patch notes on holy miss weaver brewmaster and affliction warlock Affli affliction warlock's pretty interesting because you don't really see too many of them and they were was like fucking insane in like you know arenas for a very very long time like since the game came out warlocks especially affliction have been a big part of arenas especially like you know anything above 2k like you'd always see an affliction warlock like all the fucking time and now you never really see him because i feel like maybe just destruction is that strong or is affliction that bad i actually don't even know i've dueled a couple but like dueling and arenas two totally different fucking things when i duel them when they do eventually get their shit off they do mad mad single target fucking damage but that's not what a warlock's for well affliction but their damage is there but yeah, I, I honestly, I don't even know what they need to do to Affliction to bring it back into the PvP scene because you honestly don't see that many of them compared to before. Like before, you'd see him all the time, like every other game, you'd see an Affliction Warlock. You'd you'd very rarely see like any other spec like Destruction or de Demo or anything like that. It would pretty much always be an Affliction. And if you was playing Destro, then it was kind of just for the lols. I mean, you could play Destro seriously. Like I'm not saying Destro was a joke spec. Destro was fucking sick. But anyone like really fucking try hard in like majority of people they played affliction because it was that good oh well that's a topic for another video but yeah those are the nerfs very nice to see shadow priest getting nerfed again obviously we needed it you know we are too strong i'm gonna end this video with a duel against this shadow priest obscurial 444 four, four item level i'm like four or seven right now so or four or eight sorry i'm missing one item level bit interesting to see how we do against this guy or in fact let's duel this fury called no brain who's the exact same item level as me and he's accepting instantly is he gonna reflect no he doesn't okay full dots very nice i'm gonna fade here i want to purge that thing he's got there we go he dragon rod very nice Chunk get this gonna fear him very nice siphon big damage here i'm gonna maledic on him because i feel like he's gonna heal pretty soon i'm gonna pop some heals here vampiric embrace fake his kick maybe i need to fake this kick so bad right now fake his kick heal myself put dots on him fake his reflect okay he didn't reflect so i'm just gonna put dots on him anyway got my safeguard proc up so we should be pretty fucking good right now mc him here he healed for all his fucking hp which isn't too nice gonna disperse over here fuck me this is hard to do while recording and doing commentary Stunned him on his charge, very nice. Gonna MC him half out of this, just to get him a little bit further away. And he doesn't have any way to get over to me. Him before he leaps. Gonna fade here to dodge his Stormbolt maybe. Fade his kick, full dots on him. Stormbolt on me. Gonna get my Mindbender out here. Full dots on him here. Gonna chuck him like a five second fear. Gonna heal myself with my Azerite thingy. Big damage on him now. Procking him, procking him, procking him. Procs for days, lads, procs for days. Procs, 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 procs. Wait, did I actually get that? Holy fuck fuck that was close i probably could have won it easily if i wasn't recording you guys need to know that this shit is hard to do while commentating this shit okay big hard big hard all right that's the end of today's video hope you guys enjoyed hit that like button comment down below it really does help subscribe to the channel nearly at 5k would be nice to get there pretty soon especially since the returns here but yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace oh.